hello out there in life group land uh, glad you're able to meet together tonight sorry that i'm only with you virtually um, but this evening uh, we're just going to follow up on the sermon that i preached on sunday where we started looking at our new series which is looking at the first letter of paul to timothy the first of the pastoral epistles or pastoral letters um, what I wanted to do is to, uh, on Sunday, give a bit of an overview of the book and try to get to the sort of main theme of the book, as well as one or two points which came up in the short passage that we read together. Uh, it is only a short book, so I wondered where maybe tonight, um, as a group, you might want to read the whole of the book. Um, maybe do that as a group where you're listening to each other read and reading in parts yourself to try and get a picture of what the whole thing looked like. It was it was meant to be read as a single letter, and so that might help you. After you've done that, maybe focus in on the bit we looked at specifically on Sunday, which was the first seven verses of chapter one. Uh, and in that section, I picked out a couple of things which I thought were quite important and pertinent to us in that section. The first bit was where Paul refers to Timothy as my true son in the faith um, and I wondered if you might want to think about someone who's been really influential in your spiritual development over your years as a Christian um, how did they help you what sort of things did you do together how did that relationship start did you deliberately go and looking for somebody to help you did they look for you or was it just something that sort of happened so maybe you could encourage each other by talking about that this person who's been really helpful and influential in your christian development and maybe then you could think about some people that you've helped over the years over your years as a christian how did you go about doing that was it deliberate was it something that just happened and maybe then think about ways in which you could help that happen again uh, people that you could help now or maybe who could help you now and then the second thing i'd like you to think about um, is a bit uh, later on where Paul talks about these certain men. If you remember, we talked about him saying it in a particular sort of code way, these certain men who were coming in or certain people who were coming in with false teaching, uh, who Paul was really concerned about. And he was really keen that uh, Timothy was able to teach the true gospel to counteract some of this false teaching. And I just wondered if it might be good as a group to take some time and think about the sort of things that come in um, that force us or encourage us um, to add things to the gospel, add things to what it means to be a Christian. What what thing? What pressures are out there? What pressures are coming from within ourselves? What pressures are coming in the church? And what pressures are coming in the world to make us add to the gospel? So I think if you have a chat about those and then maybe pray around some of the things you talk about, I think that could be a really profitable evening together. Uh, thanks very much. Hope you have a good time. Take care. Bye-bye.